Okay, so step, or sorry, question nine is silver nitrate soluble in water. So to answer this question, let's first look at the solubility rules. Ability. So these might be given in a question or in a textbook. But basically, they are rules that will help us find out whether or not something is soluble in water. So sometimes people like to memorize it. But again, it might be given in the question. Okay, so here is like a sum summarized version of all the different solubility rules. Basically, your group one uh, ions like lithium, sodium, potassium, and even NH4, they're always soluble. Uh, when you have NO3 or C2H3O2, these are always soluble, but there are some exceptions. Um, so for example, let's say we had chlorine, bromine, and iodine. These are insoluble with silver, mercury, and lead, and soluble with any other ion. SO4 minus, soluble with all ions except this whole list. CO3. So this table doesn't have the NO3 that we're looking for, so let's use a different one. This is kind of blurry. Okay, so here. So when you have a compound containing NO3, there are no exceptions. So since we have silver nitrate, we can say that this is soluble in water. However, if we had silver bonded with the chlorine, silver bonded with a bromine or iodine, then it would be insoluble, but because it is bonded with a nitrate, we know that it is soluble. So the junior tutor said silver nitrate with the chemical formula uh, AgNO3 is a form of salt. Based on solubility rules, salts containing nitrate ion are generally soluble. Yep, so this solution is correct. And I think we have time for one more question.